Hello boys and girls, today's lesson is going to be on actually reading of cups. We talked about measuring capacity, we talked about milliliters and liters. Milliliters being the smaller type of measurement, like a raindrop or an eyedrop. And we talked about liters being medium to bigger size containers of liquid. And this is here, the Gatorade bottle. We also talked about a water bottle. But now let's dive deeper into how do we look at cups. A lot of the questions that you're going to see on Google Slides will ask you to read a certain water level. So the only thing that we have to understand in this is what are the numbers and lines doing? Okay, so we're going to look at this cup right here that starts with 2 and goes all the way up to 10. So the important part is we go to two numbers that we have, and I see we have a 2 and a 4. Okay, then we are able to figure out what these lines are counting by. So if we start at 2, and let's start by counting by 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 4, 5, 6. You always want to check the next one, because we can write anything here, and it's going to work for us, but if it doesn't work for all of them, then it's going to be different. Okay, so we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this measurement, or these little lines, are counting by 1. Let's go over here to this cup over here. So now we have 100. And we have 150. Okay. Obviously, we can't count by 1. If we go 100, 101, 150, 150, 151, 200, those increments don't make that much sense. So we got to try to figure out what can we count by counting by the same number here and the same number here to get to 150. So let's try tens. 100, 110, 150, 150, 160, 200. Okay, that's kind of tough because this jumps up by 10 and then this jumps up by 40. It has to be the same number each time I make my line. Okay, so let's try 25. We have 100, 125, 150. So each of these lines are counting by 25. So let's try this. We have 150, 175, 200. Okay, so this cup over here is counting by 25. All right, let's try some couple. And it's kind of trial and error. you got to try to see what works and then check and see if that number works for each, each level. Okay, so for here we got 500 and we have 1,000. Okay, so let's try counting by 25s. We have 500, 525, 550, 575, 600, 1000. Okay, from here to here, that 25s doesn't work. So let's try another one. Let's try 100. So let's try 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000. So these cups here are are going up by 100 increments. Okay, now let's check it with the next level. 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, and 1,500. So here they're going up by 100. And the, and the bad thing is about measuring cups is they're all different. So you gotta kinda do this little routine here to kinda figure it out for yourself. We can't always count by ones, we can't always count by tens, we got to figure it out by doing this little skill. What is the lines counting in between big numbers? And then try that in the same pattern going to the next number. Okay, let's try the cup over here. So now we have 250 and 500. Okay, so let's try counting by maybe 25. So let's go 275, 300. 325, 350, 500. Well, that didn't work, because from here to here, that's a big jump. It may work down here, but when you get to the final line, it kind of makes a bigger jump. So let's try counting by 50s. So here we have 300, 350, 400, 450, 500. Okay, let's try it on the next step. 550, 600. 650, 700, 750. So these cups are going up by 50 milliliters. Okay? So, 
let's go ahead and do some practicing and see what we can come up with on the next cups. Okay, so let's do this cup over here. What line do you think is right here? Try to make your choice. Very good. If you said five liters, because the liters is up here, you would be correct. Let's go over here to this one. Remember, try to figure out what their lines are counting by. That's the first thing you do before you start writing down numbers. Because some of you guys may say, this is 160. Okay? And you may then try it out. If I go 150, 160, 200, this jump from here to here makes sense. But from here to here, it is way too much. So go ahead and make your choice. Okay? If you said 175 milliliters, you would be correct. And let's try one more practice. Go ahead and try this cup right here. Okay. If you said 350, you would have made the correct choice. Go ahead and try this cup over here. If you said 1,300, you would have made the right choice. So take your time when you're reading measuring cups, because you can't always say, oh, this one's counting by ones. Oh, no, this one's tens. They're all different kinds. So when you're doing your Google slide, Google slides with measuring cups, take your time, figure out the increments, and you will um, approach it a little bit better. Hope everyone's doing well. Have a great day, and I miss you guys.